So if you haven't seen it, check out the video I did about Charlemagne uh, giving so much love to Carisha, please, but then stating that she didn't deserve to win the award over um, Drink Champs Breakfast Club, Joe Button, you know, and she went ahead, not only this year, but then she tied with Drink Champs last year. And after that, just shows you how foul of mouth women can be when they don't hear what they want to hear. Because she called him a B, called him all out his name and their little tweet and everything. But now they have a sit down and let's see what the exchange is like between Charlemagne and Carisha. Hi, Carisha. Hey, Carisha. What's up? How are you? I'm great. You? <laughs> How you feeling today? I'm What's blessed, black, and highly favored. I know that's right. Me too. <laughs> you don't like them either. <laughs> I love Charlamagne the God. You know, I take my kids to school every, every morning, so I listen to y'all every morning, literally, like. And we appreciate it. Yeah, Thank we do. Mm -hmm. Carisha didn't like what I said. I, it wasn't no no dish to you. No, no I just feel. What, what I just. Said? I just feel like people always saying that I don't deserve. Stuff. Why I don't deserve oh, anything? That's, yeah, let's, I work hard. I deserve do. everything. Mm -hmm. You, when I just did my first live um, podcast, the line was around the corner. Mm -hmm. It's new. We in a new time. We in a new generation. I'm bringing something new. So why I don't deserve it? I just feel like you don't put out enough. I, if you was, if you were putting them out every week, you'd be the biggest because podcast. That's in the how game. I want to run my show, though. I, mm -hmm. I want people to wait. I want my shit to be anticipated. I don't want to drop every week. That's what. That's how it, you just said. You don't like it the way everybody doing. Okay, that's true. I want to do it. I want to do my. I want people to anticipate my. So he's giving a pushback because he only dropped four episodes this year. Other platforms dropped every week, if not every day. So she didn't deserve the award, but whatever. They gave it to her. And now she says she, she only does that because she wants to create anticipation. Okay, so now she told that half a lie. Let's get to the truth of why she really does what she does with the four episodes. But the first year you won it, when Drink Champs and you won it at the same time, I'm like, all right. Yeah, dude, I ain't had nothing now. to do with that. I ain't had nothing to do with that. That, that has something to do with it. That's How? So if on. that's the case, why I ain't with my BMA? If Diddy brought it and it was, like, oh, why, why he ain't buy that? Why he ain't buy that award? He probably can't afford the BMA. The BET award, award a little cheap. He can't afford what? Yo, shut up, <laughs> man. He can't afford, he can't afford what? I think that was a Charlemagne trying to take a low blow because he didn't want to directly address why she called him a B. Not once, but twice in that tweet. But whatever. However you want to handle it, Charlie, man. <laughs> he feel like he, feel like he <laughs> was taking away from your, from your work and your grind. Yeah, that's not true. I, don't, I, don't, I love that please. Now you talking over. Let's I don't like that. I just feel like as a black woman, people always discrediting us. Like, don't discredit me. I work hard. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm away from my kids. I get up every morning. I put in the work. Like, I deserve everything that's coming to me. Don't. Don't do that. Oh, because I'm a black woman. I deserve everything. Yeah, I always want to put the black woman thing on that. Listen, I don't know why I got to explain this to you, but everybody that has kids is away from them when they get up and go to work. You understand what I'm saying? And everybody goes that goes to work gets up and put in a hard work at, at, at their job. From rich to the poor. What you think you're rich? It makes you different or something? What are you talking about? We can't be a little salty. What if we a little salty? Yeah, just say that. Just say that. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, I feel you. I feel you. I just feel like I deserve my sh Like mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm here. Like God put me here for a reason. That is true. And, and this, this what He had for me. Like this was destined for me. So don't say I don't deserve it. Just say you were salty, and then I can respect. Well, that. congratulations. They always love to put God name on it, right? God put you here to throw that box all over the internet and talk like you talk. That's what, all right. Come on, let's keep moving. I love Charlamagne. I love the Breakfast Club. I always say that. And I, I always say one thing about you, but you always love the City Girls coming out the gate. So I always love you, but I'm like. So pretty much you love him unless he has one slight disagreement with you, right? Then he'd be, right? Okay. I'm only 29. I came from nothing. I deserve that. Yeah, I don't want you to feel I like deserve that. that. I don't care what nobody so say. I deserve that. Y'all should probably you need to apologize. Because Carisha was about to hit you. Carisha, <laughs> man. I didn't even don't want her to hit him. Listen, yeah, I, you should apologize to, to Carisha. The only thing I was saying was, and, and, and I understand exactly where you're coming from. I wanted you to, I want you to drop more. If you drop more, I'm like, yo, you can't even front she on She said she won't drop more. I get it. You know what I mean? But I feel like. I feel like. come out daily and weekly that, you know, really put in a lot, a lot, a lot be tiring though like you when do. you put out every week it's like so first it was i don't drop because i want my stuff to be anticipated now it's oh it be tiring you gotta do that that's work of course it is you gotta let the, the audience grow let the interview grow like give people time to get into it i don't want my to drop every week i probably will but it was my first time trying it out you know i gotta learn how to talk too <laughs> I, I feel the nervous no. No. <laughs> see this is why men 
get to where they don't want to hear women's logic on things because it's not logical. Like she thinks she deserves this award just because she's a black woman and she works hard and she's away from her kids. Like everybody does that. What, what are you, you want a cookie for going to work? Everybody go to get up and go to work and do a job that they don't necessarily want to do. And if somebody should so happen to say, hey, at, at a regular job, hey, I don't think you deserve employee of the month. Because you're always late. You're, you always miss days. What do they, they got the right to cuss you out and call you all out your name because you told the truth? That's what I'm saying. This don't make no sense to me. Like, when, when, and then, it, it, the, but, but what's so foul about it is, was the way she responded. It wasn't even that she was kind of weird about thinking that she deserved a war. Okay, if you think you deserve a war, whatever, right? But then when, when people give you logical reasons as to why you shouldn't get the award, now you calling them all out their name. And then I'm disappointed Charlemagne didn't even address that at all. That would have been my first order of business. Because this going to determine <laughs> how the rest of this interview, interview going to go. You know what I'm saying? Because you you called me all my, all, all, all my name while... All I did was show love and show love and show love and reiterate that I love y'all. And I mean, Charlemagne, she says it herself. Charlemagne has been uh, championing the city girls since they came out. Always showing love. But the moment he has a slight, a slight difference of opinion, that's, that's when you got to get all of that. And then they talking about, oh, she came in the interview. She came in ready to fight. She wanted to fight him. For what? Because he said, because he told the truth, you don't deserve that award. And your mouth is, fi you foul for calling them all out his name just because he stated that. You understand what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. You do your thing. Cool. It's just, it's just like I brought up about employee of the month. If it's somebody on the job at a regular job and they win employee of the month when they clearly don't deserve it, if somebody else brings that up, like, I don't think you, you know, my record is more solid than yours. I come here, I work harder, this, that, and other. Then it, it shouldn't be, you know, a, they shouldn't be berated for telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But they did what they say, man. If you were to want to see, <laughs> the woman, true self, tell her no. Tell her no or disagree with her in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? And she gonna start to show you <laughs> how she really feel about you. You know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy that Charlemagne, I think I think he folded up like a lawn chair in this in this interview. He he went he didn't really argue his point. He then he apologized and then, you know. There's just times like this where you like you'd be like, what 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 are we what are we doing, man? To go from the old Charlemagne, how he used to be, now he used to clown on people, and then for him to not have any type of backbone in this situation here, I ain't saying he got a clown like he used to clown, but to not have any type of backbone and really like stand on what you meant, like <clears throat> Ain't no problem if you disagree. If, if we disagree, I, hey, it is what it is. I don't think you put out enough episodes. You clearly just told me it's tiring. So, yeah. And that's something else we got to talk about, too, as far as doing these videos and these podcasts. It's more work than you think. It's way more work than you think. And people think it's just, oh, I'm just talking. You just get on there. No, it's a whole lot to go into this. Shooting, reshooting, editing, thumbnail, you know, and, and of course she got people to do all these type of things, but just her deciding to do the show and this, that, it's more work than what you think. So they, they, they say, you better love what you do because you're going to hate it at some point. And when you start to hate it, hopefully the love that you got for it will give you a little bit more get up and go to get up and keep doing it until you get to the goal of where you want to be. But people be just thinking that, 
oh, I could just make videos or I could just do a podcast and like, it's easy. It's not. It's work just like any other job. And it's way more work to get nothing. <laughs> Put in a lot of work to get extra nothing out of it for a long time. And then slowly it starts to produce, you know, this, that, and other. And it may not produce how you want it to produce, but you won't know what it's going to produce unless you put the work in. So, Carissa, you can't be mad at other people because you didn't know the amount of work that it was going to take to do this. And now you're in it and you don't like it, but yet you still want the awards and the accolades for it. Just make It don't make no sense. But this is your boy, PCAP. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.